Endurant 2S is a three-piece system that leverages the proven design of the leading Endurant 2 abdominal stent graft. Endurant 2 and Endurant 2S have the same indications and are designed to treat the same patient population. The Endurant 2S stent graft system, like Endurant 2, is designed to perform in a broad range of anatomies, including patients with both straightforward and challenging anatomies. This includes those with short or angulated infrarenal aortic necks and tortuous or small iliac arteries. Endurant 2S helps improve anatomical customization with the following changes. Endurant 2S offers a shorter ipsilateral leg for more flexible targeted limb placement. Endurant 2S provides up to a 20% reduction in distal diameter compared to select Endurant 2 bifers. Endurant 2S allows for in-situ sizing on the ipsilateral side with select limbs allowing a 3 to 5 stent overlap for adjustment during the case. Additional changes include equal leg diameters to allow limbs to be used on either side, a second marker added to the distal end of ipsilateral leg to help improve visibility. The Endurant 2S bifur is available in five sizes. The total covered length is 103 millimeters. The diameters include 23, 25, 28, 32, 36 millimeters. Both legs are 14 millimeters in diameter. Endurant 2S provides up to a 20% reduction in distal diameter compared to select Endurant 2 bifurs. Endurant 2S allows easier pre-case planning to simplify sizing. The five bifurcated devices of Endurant 2S ensure product availability for all patients that would have been treated with the 31 sizes of Endurant 2. Endurant 2S's contralateral gate is identical to the Endurant 2 with the same enhanced radiopaque markers to increase visibility for positioning the device and cannulating the gate. The Endurant 2S ipsilateral leg features a second marker at the distal edge. The minimum and maximum overlap on the ipsilateral side of Endurant 2S is based upon the configuration of Endurant 2 limbs. The fluoroscopic images show a comparison between the Endurant 2S and Endurant 2 bifur stent grafts. Prior to using the Endurant 2S stent graft system, please review the instructions for use in your local country to obtain a detailed list of indications, warnings, precautions, and potential adverse events. The placement of the Endurant 2S is the same as Endurant 2, but the deployment sequence varies slightly. Endurant 2S utilizes the existing delivery system as Endurant 2, allowing accurate placement and controlled deployment. The deployment sequence for Endurant 2S mirrors that of Endurant 2 until you get to the point of limb deployment. Slowly insert the delivery system until the proximal stent and the radiopaque markers are visualized in the aortic neck. With one hand on the front grip, hold the aortic delivery system stationary. Next, slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the slider counterclockwise in the direction of the arrows until two or three of the covered stents have been deployed. Use angiography to verify the position of the stent graft in relation to the renal arteries. If needed, gently move the entire delivery system proximally or distally until the proximal edge of the graft material is even with the distal edge of the lowest renal artery. While continuing to hold the delivery system stationary, slowly rotate the slider counterclockwise until the graft cover is withdrawn to the point that the contralateral leg is released from the delivery sheath. Use angiography to verify the position of the bifurcated stent graft in relation to the renal arteries. Continue to hold the delivery system stationary with one hand on the front grip. With the other hand, rotate the back end wheel clockwise in the direction of the arrows to release the suprarenal stent with anchoring pins. Continue turning the back end wheel until all parts of the suprarenal stent are completely clear from the spindle of the delivery system. Confirm that the spindle has fully separated from the crowns of the suprarenal stent. To deploy the ipsilateral leg of the bifurcated component, rotate the slider counterclockwise until the distal stent of the ipsilateral leg is completely deployed. Do not remove the bifur delivery system. Land the graft cover radiopaque marker one centimeter past the front end of the round stent stop. This configuration provides a flush surface for advancing the delivery system in the subsequent tip recapture step. 
On the patient's contralateral side, insert a guide wire through the contralateral leg and the aortic neck portion of the previously placed bifurcated stent graft. Insert the delivery system into the vasculature and through the contralateral gate of the bifurcated stent graft. The radiopaque markers at the proximal end of the contralateral limb should be aligned to the radiopaque flow divider marker of the bifurcated stent graft. Cannulate the contralateral leg and deploy the limb. Hold the front grip of the delivery system stationary. Then, slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the slider counterclockwise. At any point, use your thumb to pull the trigger on the slider and pull the slider back all the way to finish deploying the stent graft. Remove the iliac delivery system. To configure for removal, continue to hold the delivery system with one hand on the front grip and the other hand on the slider. Pull back the slider trigger and hold the slider stationary while bringing the front grip to the slider. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal. The tapered tip of the aortic delivery system needs to be recaptured before removing the delivery system. Gently torque and push the entire delivery system in a cranial direction using a counterclockwise motion, approximately 3 centimeters, so that the tapered tip and spindle are completely clear of the suprarenal stent. Then, rotate the back end wheel counterclockwise in the opposite direction of the arrows until the spindle has been completely recaptured in the tapered tip and the back end wheel has been returned to the bottom of the back end screw gear. To configure for removal, Continue to hold the delivery system with one hand on the front grip and the other on the slider. Gently torque and withdraw the delivery system counterclockwise until the spindle is retracted into the fabric portion of the stent graft. Pull back the slider trigger and hold the slider stationary while bringing the front grip to the slider. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal. Deploy the limb on the ipsilateral side. Insert the delivery system into the vasculature and through the ipsilateral leg of the bifurcated stent graft. Depending on the limb being used, the overlap may be a minimum of three stents or maximum of five stents. The radiopaque markers at the proximal end of the limb should be aligned to the distal radiopaque marker on the ipsilateral leg or the flow divider marker of the bifurcated stent graft. For specific guidance, please refer to the IFU. Continue with the remaining steps in device deployment sequence, as in Endurant 2 limb deployment. Hold the front grip of the delivery system stationary, then slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the slider counterclockwise. At any point, use your thumb to pull the trigger on the slider and pull the slider back all the way to finish deploying the stent graft. To configure for removal, continue to hold the delivery system with one hand on the front grip and the other hand on the slider. Pull back the slider trigger and hold the slider stationary while bringing the front grip to the slider. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal. The Reliant Stent Graft Balloon Catheter, packaged separately, may be used to improve aortic wall apposition. After consulting Reliant's instructions for use, move to advance the Reliant balloon over the guide wire to the target location. Next, inflate the Reliant balloon with contrast solution and model the graft to the vessel wall. Be careful to inflate the balloon only within the covered portion of the stent graft material. Deflate the balloon and repeat inflations and deflations as needed within the stent graft material. Remove the Reliant balloon catheter from the patient when balloon modeling is complete. If other stent graft components are needed to complete the procedure, please follow the deployment steps as used with Endurant 2 and outlined in the IFU.